Welcome back to the studio. I'm Warhammer Man. And, uh, you know, we do reach that uh, 250 subscriber uh, point real fast. And uh, we are planning to do a giveaway. And uh, what we're going to do actually is uh, I'm going to be doing a short video series uh, starting today where I convert up um, uh, one sprue of the Corpse Grinders, uh, which is going to be like three regular dudes and uh, two juvies so we're gonna have a leader basically a uh, champion or two and then a couple juves and for conversions I don't have a ton of necromunda weapons but I have a couple little like can flamers uh, that we're gonna put on them and we're gonna do like something for the leader uh, with basically like a double two-handed weapon and I have a couple rock cutters as well so we're going to convert up a spray of those and then we're also going to do um, five of the enforcers as well and then uh, you know I'm basically just going to make like a five man starter gang of each uh, paint them up and uh, you know just do like a painting building converting tutorial essentially series and then uh, for the 250 subscriber giveaway uh, the winner is going to um, basically I'm going to do a video it's going to be uh, like subscribe and uh, and comment and then you know I'll pick a random comment and then the winner's gonna get to choose which game they want they can either have the painted up like little corpse grinder starter gang or they can have the uh, painted up uh, palanite uh, starter gang so it'll be five models converted painted uh, you know pretty awesome um, you know for free just for uh, for just a thank you uh, for everybody that's uh, liked and subscribed and give me all their feedback and everything and uh, you know as the channel grows uh, you know we are going to have that 500 giveaway is going to be right around the corner and uh, that should be a winner as well so uh, this is just going to kick off the series and then like I said at the end we're going to do the giveaway video for the 250 subscribers which we're already close to 300 so it's like overwhelming honestly uh, by the time I'm done with these I'm sure we'll be over 300 so uh, but here we go we're going to just get started by um, cutting out a couple of the uh, basic guys and kind of cleaning up the sprue a little bit and then sort of deciding which way we're going to go with the weapons uh, and also you'll see in the background here uh, these are the paint racks that we printed up and you know it's pretty cool they can fit like a bunch of different brand uh, paints in them and everything but you don't have to worry about spilling them also uh, you know you can put like the one you're using in one of these uh, you know it's obviously designed for like the washes and everything to make sure that they don't get knocked over so that was pretty cool and uh, some of the first stuff from the 3d printers so uh, we'll be back shortly with everything uh, cut out and cleaned up all right so now here we're gonna take our cutter and uh, you know he's got his shoulders already on there and we're just going to um, position uh, his arms in a way that he's holding this heavy rock cutter now so the way we want to do that is we want to basically like start by just lining up like one joint at a time to kind of get him in the position we want so I just kind of rotated his arm inward and now I'm going to position the rock cutter At the same time as I position his arms so I can put it in a way that it looks like he could hold it all right so there with a little bit of like cutting and repositioning I uh, basically just have the cutter holding the heavy rock cutter now now here for the leader we just have like the body already built and we had like this double um, sort of like blade set up from uh, some kind of chaos corn kit or something um, I'm not really sure honestly I don't know a ton about Sigmar uh, but basically we're just gonna give him that so we went ahead and assembled it and kind of trimmed down his chest a little bit um, on the sides and now what we want to do is basically just line it up with where his arms should be And once we feel like we have a pretty good fit, I'm going to go ahead and attach that. We just trimmed down like a little bit of like the weird little uh, armor bits on there. It was nothing too crazy to make it fit. It was already pretty much spaced right. 
definitely not a super in-depth like difficult conversion or anything um, you know overall get a nice fit we'll need to like put a little something in there on like the shoulder armpit area um, and then obviously like do some minor little conversion work but overall it's basically like what we're looking for so um, we've got the uh, leader there and then we've got um, just one guy with a couple of the paired chain cleavers, uh, the heavy chain cleavers. And then we've got our cutter with the uh, heavy rock cutter there. And a couple of our uh, Jews with the little uh, hand flamer pistols. So they can infiltrate and, uh, you know, cause some problems. And uh, we'll just add on like a couple little bits of accessories and, you know, heads, whatever, where necessary. And now uh, we'll be back with the uh, completion of the build. So yeah, that's it. Just went through and added a little bit of extra detail. And, uh, you know, just kind of fill in some of the gaps. Put a couple extra spikes in, uh, etc. Just trying to make it look a little more natural. Um, added sort of like a coronate, like crown or uh, collar, whatever you want to call it to this guy. A little on the eccentric side, but... You know, I don't like the uh, regular, like, corpse counter, like, horns, kind of like, uh, the way they were on the skulls. So I wanted it still to be eccentric, just done a little bit differently. And then here we have the uh, cutter with a heavy rock cutter. And then, again, just our uh, two jubies uh, with the hand flamers and, uh, you know, just a little hand-to-hand -hand combat weapon. And that's our little conversions there. And we'll do some, uh, you know, base coating and uh, get some paint on these guys and uh, start start seeing how they come together so uh, there we have it Warhammer Man Studios uh, part one of the Corpse Grinder uh, build and paint with conversions